Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get better FPS and improve your performance in Roblox. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your computer specifications in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all this said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential windows settings and for that you have to search for settings on your windows now once you are over here you have to go and search for game mode then go to turn on game mode and make sure that game mode is enabled on your computer this will basically turn off the background applications on your computer that will allow your pc to perform much better while you're playing the games then under the related settings you will find graphics simply click and head over to the graphics panel now in the graphics panel you have to click on change default graphics settings and then make sure to turn on hardware accelerator gpu scheduling then go back to graphics over here and make sure that all of your games that you have installed on your computer or all of the applications that requires your gpu will be listed over here by default if not you can click on this browse button and then go into the file location of your installed game for roblox you have to right click on your roblox player icon and then go to open file location once you're over here you have to copy this whole location now go back to the settings click on browse and once again paste this location right over here and you will find roblox player launcher.exe simply click on add and add it over here then go to options and select high performance now once again go back to browse and you have to go back to the same location and add roblox player beta click on add and make sure to go and set it to high performance as well once you have added both of those roblox in the graphics settings you have to close your settings and move to step number two now step number two is system configuration once again for that you have to go and search for system configuration now once you're over here you have to go into the boot section then click on advanced option then click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors from this list this will basically improve your computer to reduce the booting time as well as it also improves the performance of your windows once you're done with that simply click on ok and click on apply and then click on ok step number three is creating a restore point and it is really simple for that simply search for create a restore point and then scroll down until you find your local disk c and then click on create name it roblox and then simply click on the create button once again i highly recommend you guys not to skip that step because if anything goes wrong on your computer you can always restore everything back to the safe point once you're done with the restore point simply download and open the roblox fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below simply open this thing up and you will find in five folders as well as one roblox fps unlocker.exe starting off with the first folder which is the cpu optimization once you're over here you make sure that you run all of these registries and this will optimize your computer to run on the maximum potential if you are wondering what these files are going to change simply right click show more options and then click on edit over here you will see what are the settings that it is exactly going to be changing on your computer you can run them manually but i highly recommend you guys to run all of them for maximum performance then in the second folder you will find ram optimization and i have left a preset to almost all kinds of memory configuration over here to know more about your memory configuration simply search for system information on your search bar and then you have to look for the installed physical memory on your computer for me it is 16 gb so i have to run the 16 gb ram registry it can be different for you so here are all of the registry presets you can run any of them and once again if you do not like them you can always reset back to default the third folder is the msi utility v3 and you have to simply right click and run this as administrator once this opens up you are looking for your graphics card over here and then from undefined set this to high and then click on apply this will basically utilize your gpu for the maximum resources possible back to the fourth folder which is the helpers over here you will find two files first one is clean temporary files start bad and second one is unpark cpu i'm going to get into both of them first one by the name suggests it will clean all of the unwanted temporary files on your computer that will allow your pc to perform much much smoother and to run that you have to simply right click and run this as administrator once it opens up it will simply ask you to delete all of the temporary files you can press any key and it will delete all of the unwanted files in your computer 
once it is successfully deleted you can press enter and you will be out of that now secondly you have unpark cpu simply double click and open this thing up once it opens up it should look like this over here you will have your system power plan and you will find a list of all of the installed power plants on your system over here you can select high performance or ultimate performance if you have them but if you are on laptop you can go with balanced this will protect your laptop's battery life as well as fans but if you are on a computer go with ultimate performance or high performance then over here core parking index i highly recommend you guys to set this all the way to 100 this is because in windows by default on your processor when the cores are not in uses your computer puts them on sleep mode to save power by unparking the cores you will stop them to go into the hibernation mode and that way you will save a lot of processing power and you can utilize your processors completely in your games and that will directly improve your performance so once you're done with that simply click on apply click on ok and close this lastly you have the roblox priority simply double click on this and that will you optimize your roblox game files and game settings to the optimal level once you're done with that you have the roblox fps unlocker and now for this i want you to copy this and paste it on your desktop or anywhere you feel comfortable with simply double click and run this and it will minimize to system tray now over here you will get the settings section but what you're looking for over here is the roblox fps unlocker down in the system tray you have to simply right click and then go into fps cap and set it to the maximum number that is 360. once again if you don't find it over here you can find it in that little up icon over here that is the hidden icon and you will find the roblox fps unlocker right between these things now once you have said that you can drop into roblox player and follow the best in game settings okay once again go into any game that you want to play i personally like playing this one and yep once you're over here you have to press your escape key go into the settings section and then scroll all the way down now over here you're looking for full screen you have to turn this thing to on and graphics mode set it to manual and graphics quality you can set it to halfway or you can set it all the way to low if you have a very very poor computer but i personally prefer putting it to halfway and that way you will get the maximum performance out there you can also turn on the performance stats to see how fast your computer is performing once you are done with that you can go into your game and start playing all right guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below since we are really close to a hundred thousand subscribers i seriously do appreciate you guys if you do a little support for my channel because this video takes a lot of time and efforts to come out to you guys once again we'll see you in another brand new video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox stay safe and peace out